So Patrick Mahomes signs a huge, huge deal. Five, 10 years, 10 years now, really 12 years because he has two more years left on his contract. So Year deal for around five hundred million dollars, half a billion dollars. Patrick Mahomes had his payday. Okay, he had his payday. But we know it's so many different things going on in this country. I don't even know what's really going on in this country because I think the contract is over a hundred and twenty something pages. Like I'm not gonna read that or even try to go search for it and trying to learn all the the, the nuances of what's going on in this country. I really don't care. All I know that Mahomes got a bag, and I feel like this is going to change the landscape of how quarterbacks get paid. Now, mind you, Dak Prescott has yet to sign a deal, come to a new deal with the Cowboys. So I'm still wondering what what, what Dak has to say about this, man. Does Would Dak um, ask for more money? That's, that's one of my huge questions, too. And even um, Baltimore Ravens. Yes, the Baltimore Ravens. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Are they going to offer Lamar Jackson a 10-year deal? I mean, we've seen 10-year deals before from a number of players like Michael Vick. We saw Michael Vick get a 10-year deal, and people say that didn't work out so great, but I'm hoping that this does work out great for Mahomes. I think that it will. And I think the Chiefs just locked in and say, okay, Mahomes, you more than just a player, man. You family. And so I don't know how they're going to pay the rest of the roster. And it's really like a three-year pay cut that goes into his contract later on. So he's going to be able to pay his contract, get this money later on. But, man, who knows? This is crazy. This is crazy. Like, how would they be able to sign anybody? I mean, the D-line, the O-line, the wide receivers. And I wonder how the teammates – the teammates better be happy for him. I mean, we do think about a lot of bitterness and a lot of hate when we see people get paid this amount of money or get this amount of trust landed to them by an uh, organization. I mean, this is a lot of trust. This is a lot of, oh, my goodness. I'm not saying there's a burden on Mahomes, but this is a lot to deal with. But I think Mahomes got I think he'll be fine, man. I really think he's one of the top quarterbacks in the NFL. And, hey, he – Deserve it. This the dude that sat behind Alex Smith. I mean, he waited his chance. He got his chance, became MVP. Next season, you said, you know what? I'm taking it to another notch. He won the Super Bowl. After that, he got to vote MVP. And now he done marked all the boxes, man. Checked all the boxes. And now they got all these incentives in there. And I know my home's thinking like, you know what, man? I did this before. I can do it, man. I can make this happen. I can win another Super Bowl. I can win another MVP. But we all know it's not that easy going getting back to the Super Bowl. And I really want to know how this money will af- will happen, like the TV deals and things like that, because because of COVID nineteen. So COVID nineteen is here, y'all. It's here. COVID nineteen is a real thing, man. And so I don't know if that will affect the Patrick Mahomes deal or affect other deals in general and make the salary or the salary cap make decrease just like the NBA players saying if they sit out you know the collective bargaining agreement oh my goodness it's gonna be messed up it's gonna be bad and that salary cap gonna take a huge dip but I, I don't know man we just have to see we have to wait till next season and wait to see will we ever get back to normal again because of COVID-19 so we will see how the NFL season gonna turn out we're gonna see how the NBA season gonna turn out but shout out to Patrick Mahomes for coming to this deal him and the Chiefs Andy Reid they deserve this Patrick Mahomes deserved this I mean it didn't take him that long to win a Super Bowl but we all know we've seen young players go to the Super Bowl once sign these deals and never go back again but I don't think Mahomes is like that I think Mahomes is a generational talent you know why because I picked up the sticks on Madden one day okay and I suck at Madden okay freaking suck. I'm not good at Madden at all. I picked up Madden and I was killing with my homes. And that day I killed I was kill, I killed with my homes. I mean kill. Killing with my homes. I said, man, this dude is something nice. He is the real deal. And I know this coming from a video game, but if you know me, if you know me, you know I suck at Madden. And if I can play good with somebody, they got to be they got to be legit. They got to be legit. But I don't know who else going to be up for this huge contract maybe 
um, Lamar Jackson, hopefully him, or hopefully Dak Prescott and them come to agreement and he wants, you know, that certain amount that he wants. Who knows if he's going to be able to get it. But we're waiting to see how that will turn out and how that will work. But we just going to wait and see. We're going to wait and see how this NFL season is going to play out. That's what I really want to see. How these stadiums gonna be empty? What is really gonna be like? It's gonna be like a scrimmage game. Like, oh my goodness! And I want to see if this will take a hard dip on the cap in general. And so we don't have to wait and see, man. We waiting to see a lot of things. I'm really waiting for COVID nineteen to pass away. That's really what I'm waiting on. 